Hi there, I'm Jim. We'd like to help you better understand how to cut the guide rails for any of our Enigma barn door style shower and tub doors. First, let's look at the guide rail for the Enigma X, XO, XT, and the Enigma Z. We've actually made it easier for you by pre-cutting the guide rail for your model size of 48, 54, 60, or 72 inches. So please note that the guide rail is an inch and three quarters shorter than your model size to allow for the guide rail brackets on either end. Here's a chart showing the lengths of the guide rail for each model size to avoid any confusion. So you only need to do one calculation. Just measure the width of the shower opening where the guide rail will go and subtract that width from the model size of the door. That's your cutoff length for the guide rail. For example, if your opening is 58 and a half inches wide at the top, and you have a 60 inch model, subtract 58 and a half from 60 and you get one and a half inches. That's the amount to be cut off from the door end of the rail. Easy, right? It's really important to note that you should only cut the guide rail at the door end. That's the end without any holes in it. And look for this label there. Cutting from the wrong end will cause the holes in the rail to be misaligned with the holes in the panel glass and the installation will fail. Cut the guide rail using a chop saw with a blade made for cutting metal and file off any burrs. By the way, you can cut up to four inches from this door end of the guide rail if needed. Now, let's look at the rectangular guide rails for the Enigma Sky and the Enigma Air, available in 48 or 60 inches. The guide rail will always be one inch shorter than the model size, again leaving room for the guide rail brackets on the ends. So, you only need to do one calculation. Just measure the width of the shower opening where the guide rail will go and subtract one inch from that width to get the cutoff length for the guide rail. For example, if your opening measures 46 and three quarter inches, the length of the guide rail needs to be 45 and three quarter inches long, one inch shorter than the measurement. Measure and cut from the door end of the guide rail. It's just that simple. It's really important that you only cut the guide rail from the door end and you're gonna look for a sticker. See this sticker right here? So look for that label. Cutting from the wrong end, again, will cause the holes in the rail to be misaligned with the holes in the panel glass and the installation will fail. So cut the guide rail using a chop saw with a metal blade and file off any burrs. By the way, you can cut up to four inches from the door end of the guide rail if needed. If you still have questions, please reach out to our support department at 1-866-731-8378 or support at dreamline.com. You might also consider finding a Dreamline certified installer at dreamline.com. Thanks for watching.